Hello, in this video, I'm continuing our discussion of this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, and this is video number 12. Join me. Hello, welcome to Take a Step to a Better You. We are continuing our discussion of Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It's a fascinating book. And if you are new, my name is Sherifa Nakalema. I'm a business owner here in Virginia, USA. I started this channel to share what I know and what I continue to learn. And believe me, I'm learning every day and I am sharing. I share business tips, YouTube tips, learning on money on earning money online tips. And I also, and that's through mostly affiliate marketing, the earning money part. And I also uh, just record motivational videos. Just yes, encourage you to take a step to make your life better while you can. So if all that sounds like some a good message I have here, please consider subscribing and sharing my videos. And when you subscribe, please click on the bell that comes up on the right. That way you get notified when I have new videos. I'll share my schedule at the end of this video, the lesson. If you are new, please hang on. I'm going to share everything I do at the end of the video. And also I'll share how you can get this book. Uh, even the physical book now, I have links for the physical book if you want. And also the audio link free for third audio, audible for 30 days. You can listen to that. I'll share at the end. And for those of you who have been writing this with me, this is video number 12. Appreciate you very much. Appreciate your comments. Please always leave a comment. In fact, I have a question at the end today. I'm, I'm going to ask a specific question when I finish this lesson. And I'm hoping you subscribed. Uh, you know my schedule. So at the end, uh, for me, I know most people say, watch the video to the end. Well, if you can watch up to when I end the lesson, that's fine. If you don't want to listen to everything I repeat, I repeat every day, that's fine. Or that will, to them adding something a little bit different. Uh, yes. For those of you, if this is the first time here or on the first time listening to this book or listening to me discuss this book, please know that this is video number 12. But I have a link taking you all the way from 1 to 11. And it's all just one click of a button. They will play one after the other. It's a playlist. And I call it Lessons from Robert Kiyosaki, what I've learned from Robert Kiyosaki. And I I also have linked it in the pinned comment on this video to make it easy for you. And also it's in a description. This book, for, uh, the lesson, let me first remind you, the lesson we are learning today, we are still in chapter one, lesson one, the rich don't work for money. The book has six lessons. We are still on lesson one. The rich don't work for money. And who wrote this book? Who is telling us all this stuff? His name is Robert Kiyosaki, self-made millionaire, entrepreneur, educator, and investor with a mission. Robert Kiyosaki had a mission to elevate the financial well-being of humanity, starting with one life and one person at a time. Hopefully, we are doing uh, a good part. In, in, I mean, we are supporting his message, which is a great, great mission, I believe. And the book is about two dads. I keep repeating this. He called them two dads. One dad was his real dad, who was uh, a very intelligent man, highly educated with a PhD. But what's, what's fascinating about the story, he died a broke man. And then the one he called the rich dad, the one he learned these lessons from, is a dad to his friend Mike. And this one left school in uh, eighth grade. He was just 13 years. And became one of the wealthiest men in Hawaii. And that's why this story is fascinating. We want to see all these lessons we are learning as he teaches him. He met him when he was just nine years. And up now, where we are, he's still nine. He has, nothing much has changed about him. And we are continuing the story. We ended video number 11 with Rich Dad giving Robert, you know, they made this appointment uh, because. He was tired of working for 10 cents an hour. So he went to confront a rich dad about this. And last time the conversation was happening already, he was giving Robert long talks about love life being a teacher. 
he also said something that was interesting in that video, and the one I finished, because he said, Robert and Mike, remember Mike is his friend, who is Rich Daddy's son, these boys were the first people to ask him to teach them about money. Because although he had 150 employees, none of them cared about learning how to make money. All they cared about was a job and a paycheck. So he was really happy that the boys, they were young, but they were curious. So I'm going to do a lot of reading from the book and hopefully you don't mind because that's when we get it really right. And I already marked where I'm going to start and stop. So we get out our lesson for today. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try to read a little bit faster. So get into the book. Remember, it's a conversation still continuing. It's still sitting there and we finished. Please, if you haven't watched number 11, I'm so sorry because this is a continuation. The same conversation still going. So Robert says, I sat there listening intently. Rich Dad is continuing. So when Mike told me you wanted to learn how to make money, I decided to design a course that mirrored real life. I could talk until I was blue in the face, but you, you wouldn't hear a thing. So I decided to let life push you around. <laughs> life push you around a bit so you could hear me. That's why I only paid you 10 cents. Remember, this conversation is between two people, but please, uh, you're, I'm going to assume you can figure out who is speaking now, depending on what they're saying. If it's not clear, I'll mention who's speaking. So uh, now this is Robert asking. So that is the, the lesson I have learned from working for only 10 cents an hour. Oh, no. He's asking, what is the lesson I learned from working for only 10 cents an hour? That you are cheap and exploit young, uh, your workers? Rich dad rocked back and laughed. Actually, <laughs> finally he said, "You best change your point of view. Stop blaming me and thinking I'm the problem. If you think I'm the problem, then why? Uh, then you have to change me. If you realize you are the problem, then you you can change yourself, learn something new, and grow wiser." Learn something and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than anyone else. Now, this is Robert. I don't understand. Don't blame me for your problems, which dad said, growing impatient. But you only pay me cents, 10 cents. So, what are you learning? Which dad asked, smiling. That you are cheap. <laughs> That's Robert now. And then Rich Dad said, See, you think I'm the problem. And Richard, uh, Robert said, But you are. Well, keep that attitude and you learn nothing. Keep the attitude that I'm the problem and what choices do you have? Now, now, Robert, well, if you don't pay me more or show me more respect and teach me, I'll quit. Rich Dad said, well put. And that's exactly what most people do. They quit and go looking for another job, a better opportunity, a higher pay, actually thinking that this will solve the problem. In most cases, it won't. So what should I do? Just take this measly 10 cents an hour and smile. <laughs> Rich dad smiled. Ah, that's what the other people do. But that's all they do. Waiting for a raise, thinking that more money will solve their problems. Most just accept it. And, and some take a second job working harder, but again accepting a small paycheck. Now Robert is saying, I start, I start staring at the floor, beginning to understand the lesson which dad was presenting. I could sense it was 
a test of life. Finally, I looked up and asked, so what will solve the problem? This. So he said this, leaning forward in his chair and tapping gently on my on my on the head, touching gently, touching. Uh, sorry, sorry. This he said, leaning forward in his chair and tapping me gently on the head. He tapped him on the head, pointing the head. That's that's where the solution is. This stuff between your ears. It was at that moment that that rich dad shared the pivotal point of view that separated him from his employees and my poor dad and led him to eventually become one of the richest men in Hawaii. While my highly educated but poor dad struggled financially all his life, it was, singular, it was a singular point of view that made all the difference over a lifetime. Rich dad explained this point of view over and over which I call lesson number one. The poor and the middle class work for money. The rich have money work for them. On that bright Saturday morning, I learned a completely different point of view from what I had been taught by my poor dad. At the age of nine, I understood that both dads wanted me to learn, both dads encouraged me to study, but not the same things. My highly educated dad recommended that I do what he did. Son, now he's quoting his dad, his real dad. Son, I want you to study hard, get good grades, so you can find a safe, secure job with a big company and make sure it has excellent benefits. That's the end of the quote uh, for the, from the poor dad. My rich dad wanted me to learn how, to, how money works so I could make it work for me. These lessons I would learn through life with his guidance, not because of a classroom. So now my rich dad continued. Uh, now Robert just added that in, so they, but they are still together. My rich dad continued my first lesson. I'm glad, now rich dad is speaking. I'm glad you got angry about working for 10 cents an hour. If you had not got angry and had simply accepted it, I would have to tell you that I could not teach you. You see, true learning takes energy, passion, and a burning desire. Anger is a big part of that formula. For passion is anger and love combined. When it comes to money, most people want to play it safe and feel secure. So passion does not direct them. Fear does. And now Robert is asking, so is that why they'll take jobs with low pay? Yes, said Rich Dad. Some people say I, I exploit people because I don't pay as much as the, the sugar plantation or the government, I say. The people exploit themselves. It's their fear, not mine. But don't you feel you should pay them more? I don't have to. And besides, more money will not solve their problems. Just look at your dad. He makes a lot of money and he still can't pay his bills. Most people, given more money, only get into more debt. So that's why the 10 cents an hour is part of their lesson. I said smiling. That's right. Smile rich dad too. You see, your dad went to school and got an excellent education. So he could get a high paying job. But he still has money problems because he never learned anything about money in school. On top of that, he believes in working for money. And you don't. Uh, uh, Richard, sorry, Robert said, and you don't. You were just like completing the sentence for, for, for him. No, not really, said Rich Dad. If you want to learn to work for money, then stay in school. That's a great place to learn, to do that. But if you want to learn how to have money work for you, then I'll teach you that. But only if you want to learn. 
Wouldn't everyone want to learn, learn that? No. Simply because it's easier to learn to work for money, especially if fear is your primary emotion. When the subject of money is discussed, I don't understand. Don't worry about that for now. Just know that it's fear that keeps most people working at a job. The fear of not paying their bills, the fear of being fired, the fear of not having enough money, and the fear of starting over. That's the price of studying to learn a professional trade and then working for money. Most people become a slave to money and then get angry at their boss. Learning to have money work for you is a completely different course of study. Uh, oh, it's a question. And it's Robert asking. Learning to have money for you, work for you is a completely different course of study? I ask. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, that's where we are ending today. I hope uh, uh, that was clear. And But there, is, there are two quotes that I skipped here, and I'm going to read them. These are quotes, uh, not quotes, like points, like he puts them in, in, in a circle, like so, so that I have to read them. What he sees that as key points from what's going on. That's Robert though, not me. So he says, the first one, the first one he says, I'm marking, I want to make sure these are the, the best, uh, the ones I marked. Okay. This is the first lesson according to my, to Robert and according to, to what we just read here. So he says, change what you can. That's the first point. I've learned the truth and wisdom in Rich Daddy's words. So much of, so much of life is out of control. I've learned to focus on what I do have control over, myself. And if things must change, first I must change. So the here he said it's myself. What I do have control over is myself, is you. That's what you, because every, most of stuff is out of control. That's point number one. Then he points another one is, this is the last part I'm reading, by the way, I'm done. Uh, the last point he makes for us is assets over income. Assets over income. Buying or building assets that, that deliver cash flow is putting your money to work for you. I'm repeating this one because it's very important. Buying or building assets that deliver cash flow is putting your money to work for you. High paying jobs mean Two things. You are working for money and the taxes you pay will probably incre increase. I've learned to put my money to work for me and enjoy the tax benefit of generating income that doesn't come from a paycheck. Uh, right here, I'll say, because I'm an, I'm, I'm an employer myself and I know something about payroll taxes, especially here in the USA, is killing everyone. I know, I know. I'm talking like now, I'm getting to politics because whenever I pay people more, I end up paying more taxes because I have to pay the, a portion for them. And I end up paying more and then they also get up paying more. It's really frustrating as an employer, like those taxes. So that's a big, big point. And I know anyone who is working for, uh, for a paycheck, they know whenever they give you more, they cut more. They give you more, they come back more. You may find that the, the net is almost the same, the net increase. So that's why I'm stopping. I'll record another. Uh, the next one will be video uh, number 13. Let's stop there with video 12. But I have a question for you concerning what you just did. This is the question. Somewhere, Rich Dad, as he was talking, he made a, a very important point. And it could be confusing because he said that most people, Given more money, only get into more debt. Okay, do you agree with that? That when you, is it, or let me ask you, do you, yes, do you agree that when people earn more money, or they make more money, especially if it's a salary, if uh, they were making 5,000 and it was increased to 6,000, what normally happens to those people? 
is it they end up better off financially or they end up actually doing worse? I have my opinion, but I really want to hear your opinion. Please, if I see that there were controversial views in the comments you put, then I'll talk about it in the next video. But please, what do you think? Is it true that most people give any more money only get into more debt or to make it uh, maybe not more debt, but they don't get better off in their life or in saving or whatever they do? What do you think? Do you agree? Okay, please comment on that and comment on the whole what happened in this conversation. I don't know if you love those conversations. I'm not sure because they go on and on. Uh, I'm not really, really very sure. Hopefully there's something. There are many, many points. You could rewind the video, the video and see. Now, to those, now I'm done with the lesson. For those of you who are new, who want to hear my schedule here, the schedule is daily. I record daily. I publish daily. The, the lessons, except on Friday when I come live. Live and the recording of the books, I mean the uploading, not the recording, the uploading, 1 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Please check your local listings. USA has many time, uh, time, time, time zones, but I'm in Virginia, I'm in USA Eastern Time, and I upload at 1 p.m. for these books. But then on Tuesdays, no, I'm sorry. On Thursdays and Sundays, I upload 30 minutes earlier, and these are different. I talk about YouTube tips, business tips, mostly on Thursdays, and then on Sunday, I tend to bring something general for everyone. Like, it tends to be motivational. Whatever I do on Sundays at 12.30, it will be something for general for everyone. Because I know, uh, like, Thursday, those are YouTube tips, business tips. Not everyone is doing that. And now these books, not everyone is doing that. But or not everyone likes books. But on Sunday, I intentionally make sure I'm talking about something that will benefit everyone. Okay? 12.30 USA Eastern Time, Thursdays and Sundays. But the rest every day is 1 p.m. Only on Friday is to be a live. I come live. For those of you who have asked me live, I'm changing this the next live. I won't be just chatty chatty only. Well, I'll do two things. At the beginning, you know how I give out some cash? Please come early. I'll give out some cash at the beginning and at the end. But in the middle, I'll find something to talk about. And this time, the video will be kept on the channel. Because all the first slides we've done, I've made them private. You can't see them. Only the people who are there know what happened. But uh, this time, I'm going to make it uh, different. I'll have something to share formally and we'll keep it for the people who come later. Because they keep asking me, we, we didn't see it, we didn't see it, it's gone. So not everyone can, uh, can come at that time. So when you come later, at least you'll find it. I think that's it. Oh, the book. This one, you can go listen for free, one month. Audible, I signed up. In fact, when I signed up for this Audible, I was like to, trying to get you access to the book. So I didn't set it up the right way because I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, Amazon, I'm an Amazon associate. So normally they ask for your website and then that's where you're supposed to, to show off whatever you are promoting from Amazon.com. So, but today I'm already set it up. I set up a page on my website. You see my website, honestsoul.com. So instead of just giving a link, taking you straight to Audible, which was just a, an empty page, I, I have a radio banner now on my our website so the link today is taking you to my website and please i'm an associate although i like to be an affiliate person for things where there's a free passion if you hear me i always have some free things free trial free try free service like that so i have a few of those on my website check them out also if you want affiliate especially if you want to be an affiliate person affiliate marketing and that's why you get also in touch with me if you go to about us page somewhere, you can get to me by email. And but please get to me when you're talking about what I do. Not not like people who find me on Instagram and they just say hello, how are you today? Yes, how are you today? But then what what next? Talk about something that's going to build us. Okay, send me an email only if it concerns what I do. Please, it's not just personal stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to be rude, but please, if you want personal stuff, come live. Come live, there, there you can ask me anything. And when you go to this 
link when you click the link is below when you click on it the audible the if you want the audio version it's going to go to a button said audible and podcast for free all you, you want all you can listen to for free for one month but please to get to this book it's a premium plus book when you go to audible make sure you're signing up for the plus version that's where you find this book it will show that you have a free credit and that free credit will give you this book for free for one month and please while i'm, I'm talking about amazon if you want to support what i do here please talk to your friends about honestsoul.com let them go to amazon through my page they don't lose anything they don't lose anything i get paid a little bit maybe one percent or something when they buy whatever they buy but uh, they don't lose anything. The price doesn't change. So please tell your friends about my on my website on assault.com. Anyone go into Amazon. I made this long and I apologize for that, that that last part. But if you want to support what I do here, maybe you can support uh, my Amazon page so that or the whole website. So I don't have to have ads on here. I could have ads just at the beginning and the end and nothing in the middle. If you support me enough so I can cover the expenses of running this channel and everything I run. A little bit uh like if people support what i do i can remove ads from the videos they must be annoying those ads showing up but if we do better support what i do we can take off the ads in the middle i can have them just at the beginning and the end and leave the the middle to flow uh support what i do support the subscription it's at eight thousand still is moving we want ten thousand we have just a few days left by end of it that's my video i ranted too much and i'm so sorry about that please leave a comment the question was most people given more money only get into more debt do you agree with that or do you believe that people as they earn a little bit more especially people earning salaries do they get better off or they mix up their lives even more what do you think or if they did what do you think they do with that extra money that gets them into trouble okay leave a comment about the whole thing like I always end them, take very good care of yourself, take very good care of your families, take very good care of your health, take a step to a better you. Bye-bye.